Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode adventure. Today, first on my list is to try and rescue the International Trans Star that is stuck in the middle of the swamp here. And for that, we are going to want our Pacific P-16, which is all the way out on Drummond Island. Now, I'm just trying to get the fleet star out a little bit. I'm slightly concerned about rolling her, but we'll do what we can. You don't really need to come down this way much anymore, I don't think. Maybe with a scout. Other than that, we're pretty good for this side. But there is a a repair trailer we can try and I hate this little bit here it's one of them the bits of the tree that, that stick out we just need to find somewhere where I can dump this trailer because we don't need it I'm sure we don't need these trailers yeah there's a, a vehicle repair trailer down so we'll use the fleet star eventually to grab that Park up here where we got our CK from. Our second CK. Now I was thinking that we could change plans today and get back in the scout and scout out um, what are you doing? There we go. Engine on. Handbrake on. And scout out uh, Island Lakes. I can't remember where, in what garage I left it in. It, or if I said, it should be in the garage. So uh, I'll, I'll check that probably next time. But for now, we are going to jump, like I say, to Drummond and to the Pacific P-16, which is here. There she be. Now, the only thing I want to take with me from here is this service trailer. I don't think we should need it here. I don't think we should. We can uh, equip something with some service parts or something if we have trouble. There is a, a service repair station, obviously you have to pay for that, but... There we go, it's on. I'm going to pull this through. It would be nice if I had some fuel here. I don't have a fuel trailer. There's no fuel trailer here to pull through. I don't think. Let's just quickly check. That's a sideboard trailer. Sideboard trailer. We've got a large fuel trailer, but we're not pulling that through. So no, we've not got any any fuel. Don't think we haven't got fuel on um, Smithsville either, so I may even need to get the fleet star back and grab our fuel trailer to meet us down at the International so we can fill up the recovery. We don't have all wheel drive. The flock's always on. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, if I can do this. Because I've never tried to do anything with the oh, with the Pacific. 
always struggled and done everything with Blade or uh, a DLC truck. Or lately with a naughty modded truck. So, yeah. Wish me luck. Hopefully we can just like, I don't know, stick at low gear and wish for the best in this one. Perhaps so if I stick it in the high gear, it so slow. You never get anywhere. Again, I said last time out, I swear when I've seen other people go high gear, they're, they're, they're flying. Absolutely flying. Even if I pick up a bit of speed, a bit of high gear, slow way down. I always thought that the idea of the high gear was, you know, everything's loose and you just, just go in. I thought we want a little bit, of air, a little bit of air in that front tyre. I think that's knackered, isn't it? Do we need to repair ourselves? There we go. Perhaps that's why. Perhaps we'll, perhaps maybe we'll run a bit better now. Didn't realise she had a flat tyre. Head through into the dam. This is what we can do. Now, I'm trying to have a little think here, and we've got so far to travel before we even get to the international. What am I going to do fuel wise? Perhaps, perhaps I just set up for the recovery and I go off and find my scout. We'll scout out Island Lake. Island Lake has a ton of fuel in it. We'll scout out Island Lake and try and pull a fuel trailer back through. There's quite a few on there. We, we, can, we can get one ring through, I think. That may be what we have to do. Because we have... Oh, wrong way. 235. We'll see what the fuel situation is like. But we've got... We've not got one here anyway. So, regardless of what the fuel situation is like, we're going to struggle. Especially if we have, have to travel at this speed, <laughs> we'll have no time when we get anywhere. And this is a little bit wider than what I usually drive around here. I'm not even sure if this will fit through the little shortcuts up and down <laughs> the side of the cliffs and stuff. I think we will have to stick to the road. I'm not sure how well that managed getting through there. That is 
That is a white boy, isn't it? is we go straight through to Black River and start rescuing trucks there because so I can top up on fuel that could be what we do got fuel there haven't we and then I'd be able to bring one back through with me I don't want to take all the fuel out there because we're not finished. That's, I think I'm finding, that's my, not necessarily my biggest, but one of my biggest struggles at the minute is normally I don't do the missions, like necessarily in a, in a logical sense of going around and unlocking everything and, and what have you. My, my general way of doing it is right. I'll do everything in Black River. I'll do everything in the dam. I'll do everything in Dublin Drummond. I'll do everything on Island Lake. But because we need the resources from those other maps to help us, but back even back in Black River, really, we need this truck to effectively help us to recover stuff and deliver goods. Because fuel isn't free, because you know, parts and recoveries and stuff are all paid for. Because I haven't got the the extra trucks in the garage to rely upon. I have to try and do it with what we got. And what we've got not a lot. Since we can't sell our trailers, it's not like I could buy a fuel trailer and then sell it back when I'm done. Yeah, I'm not going to risk doing it. I don't want to take this down and, and just sort of bin it or get it stuck. It's then I am shafted. I'm trying to recover this with the fleet. As much as I love my fleet star. I'm not going to ask about it. Not without a much bigger, juicier engine and probably some better tyres. am I? Decision time. Do we go in, try and drag that international out? So we have to drag it all the way through there. And if that doesn't work out... What do we do? Oh, shit, I'm just going to... Leave. Leave this part up here. And we're going to go to Black River. We're going to be sensible. That's what we're going to do. Sorry about that. We're going to be sensible. We'll... We'll try ourselves the extra money. But what I could do while we are here is jump back in that fleet star and do the delivery for the farm because we've got the bricks and everything we brought through I forgot about them honestly my memory terrible do that delivery to the farm 
have that done and out of the way. That's another job, because that will probably be blocking us from doing other deliveries anyway. Sometimes those sort of those main contracts, others won't unlock until you've done certain ones. Have you been inside the Pacific yet? I think we have, haven't we? Detailed, nice. Which one's my fuel gauge? I don't really have time to look at. I need to be watch what I'm driving. Pressure, pressure. Oil. Off. I can't even see it, that's underneath that wheel. Underneath the wheel. Put it in high gear when we were going at speed and lose all speed. Stand in the name. Perhaps need a more special tuned gearbox. Once we've uh, covered some trucks, we'll put the high saddle on as well, and then that'll be ready to uh, move some trailers for us. Once we have recovered all of our trucks, the ones that are for us, I will probably re revert back to my way of concentrating on the map. Because once we've got the trucks, we've, we'll pretty much have what we need. It's just having to go out and collect everything. The deliveries within them, for most of them now, should be confined within that map, especially back on Black River what few deliveries we have there. And a lot of them will be coming through to here anyway. The two trucks that want to deliver into the farm. That'll be good money for us. Again, I'm going to end up wishing I left a trailer up near our garage, aren't I? Do I constantly pull a bloody fuel trailer out? <laughs>
because that is sort of one of the things I am a bit naughty with. With the, with the, uh, the stream series, is that I have a, a scout with like an insane amount of fuel bars. Star. See if I can bring you back. Got a new job for you, girl. Straight, straight in the deep bit. <laughs> I will probably do this a lot throughout this hard mode series. It's like double, triple guess myself change my plans halfway through just as I'm trying to weigh up the pros and cons of the different little bits and the nuances of what we're trying to do I guess that way you get to see that I am playing it without like a predetermined cheat sheet. This is uh, me going through the process every time. Got through fine on the way through, but on the way back snag on that tree. Still snagging on it. Come on. And then we've got another one in front of us getting in the way. Where you end up wasting your fuel. tree. That's it. Fall, fall through the mud. Get out of my way. just select the actual contract that we're doing. Excuse me. Bricks, wood planks, fuel. Oh, engine stalling. How much is even left in here?
Crank this out. You shall order some. You will? Got a bit closer, can I? I honestly don't know why I'm so bad at using the crane. on my lack of depth perception again as always. Right, so this packet away. Still the crane. Now with cargo, especially in a flatbed like this, or with a side sideboard, if you unpack it, it actually weighs less. And as long as you drive carefully, you can actually get about a little bit easier. Since this is going to be on the main road, we'll do that. So then we'll use, we'll use a little less fuel. The main road, the asphalt. We're going to be on tarmac for this little bit. The other trailers probably all want to be packed. We want more bricks first, and then the wood. We could unpack them. I think the bricks are in a side bed trailer, aren't they? Or a sideboard trailer? Sideboard bed trailer? Bed trailer with sideboards. One of these types. be the wrong way round, right. Standard. So. That'll now be lighter. Some goods more than double in weight when they're packed away, in case you didn't know. Now the wood on that trailer, I would I would never unpack that trailer because it'd slide off the back. I think. Though you have the side support stopping you from rolling back and forth, there's not a lot. Whereas on, on these, you don't necessarily have a great support for rolling, but sliding about, it should be pretty good. Again, if we can get away with using a little less fuel, then all the better. Careful that that trailer behind though doesn't run away from us. We'll try and get in front. I just try. And then 
here. This route, if we can. We do have our crane, so you know, if we do start losing stuff, we can pick it up. We'd rather not. It's close to the spruce without it catching us with its immovable branch. We have to do this without winching because our winch is uh, obviously pulling the other trailer. We may have to because I think a trailer, one of my trailers is stuck somewhere. A wiggle. There we go. Maybe you can go to a lower gear. My help. No, we're burying. When it makes that sound, we're burying. We may have to just leave that for a minute. Just so we can try and pull ourselves. If I can, I'd like to get the tree. Run. Thank you very much. Can the trailer again? through his fence. Sort of a do you want to deliver your knots <laughs> scenario. So before we can deliver them, we need to oh, 
Oh, I don't want to go here. I want to go to the other one. This is the actual yo. The amount of times I do things like that. The weight is suddenly a bit much again. Again, it, it's a lot for the fleet star to do this. But she's doing it. Which is pretty amazing. So, pack the cargo. This is where we're taking it, right? Oh, I... Oh, it's because I've tra tracked to the um, the other job. There we go. Now I can <laughs> unload. So first lot done. Again, we shouldn't really need it again. But if we do, it'll be parked away nicely. Other than the ones that are just scattered everywhere. thousand one hundred that's four hundred and forty so it was a big effort it was a big ask but paid out reasonably well I don't know why I keep going in there I just want to check where we're doing for levels because we're gonna unlock tires and things as we go sunk in the mud while I was faffing about Again, I do just want to put this out of the way. I think I'm gonna leave the fleet there for now. It should shouldn't sink, that should be alright. And with that cleared. jump in the Pacific. We'll be heading off to Black River. So we did get a challenge done or a task done. And then throughout the night let's see if we can get at least well at least one truck. You never know if it, if it goes well we might be able to get both on. We should have plenty of time still. Let's see what it does. Downhill, I get. So it's right now. Let's just stick it in neutral and coast. Right. Back to the river. skip that and move on. 
that little sequence takes up like 10 minutes of our day. Take that sign with us. And with the the farm trucks, we don't need to worry about repairing them. We'll just grab them and put the siphon the fuel out as well before we deliver it. Because they don't need to be delivered with any fuel. So unlike the trailers, they need to have 10%. And just before we leave for our day, we'll jump to the garage and just check to see if our Land Rover is there. Because I have had it in the past where sometimes mod needs updating or something happens that it's not updated when I load into the game and it disappears. So I thought we'd left the Land Rover out on one of the maps but it's, it's not visible anywhere. That will be uh, slightly annoying because it's, it's, it's a 10 grand Land Rover and we've put a lot of upgrades on it. But that is the risk of running with mods I guess. We often have it on the uh, on the Twitch stream series where one night we're all good and then we log on and we go up to go live the next night and the mods have disappeared and we we just I just you know run with another truck. That's not a problem because we've got loads of trucks. We've not got loads of trucks here. It is a problem. So we'll refuel from this one, because that needs, well 200 doesn't it, and that goes in, so that's alright. going to head out into the marsh and there's a GMC out there so that's what we're going to go for I forget the model it's, uh, it's a newer slightly newer model than ours ours is like a 70s and this is like an 80s and then after that one hopefully we'll have time to try and rescue the Chevy Kodiak in the northeast, up near where we oh, bloody horse, up there where we saw or where we did the uh, the pump, we tried to give a little pull with our, our scout with our Land Rover. Whereas the Pacific, while not fast and lacking in all-wheel drive does seem to just keep going it's a plodder, it's a doer now from what I've watched and seen or seen, yeah seen, watched uh, people sort of reviewing the trucks never really bothered me before until I started this series I thought, oh I'd better try and find out what trucks are best for what um, Civic is a good log trail, a uh, log trailer, or a log hauling truck. And uh, we have a few logging jobs here, so come in handy. When we get to them, I'll probably save them right till the end. I'm even doing that on my uh, stream series. I think we've done one lot of logging, the rest will be, or two, I think we've done two lots of logging, the rest will be saved until the end of clearing out Michigan. And again, running parallel faves, 
and series does not help either one because they are so different. Uh, what will be actually easier to go through? Further up, isn't it? Come to think of it. There is a track that goes round, but it's not. You know, it's swamp marsh. Doesn't matter if there's a track. So not through there. Through the next one. We'll probably end up wiping out the barbecue. Easter after is out there. So we'll try and bring our arse round to it as best we can. Oh no, it is the same sort of GMC as what we've got, I think. Otherwise, trying to lift lock for. That's not what he's asking it to do. Put down. Now find the right gear, and off you go. Easy. Now we could have done that with a fleet star. I have done that many times with a fleet star. It would have taken a lot longer. It would have been a similar sort of episode as then doing that delivery with a fleet star. There's a lot of weight in a truck. You can't sort of manipulate it like you can with some of the cargos. I don't do that very often. It's just like you always pull them three trailers. That's why that was the first time I've done it and the first time I've brought it up, just in case anyone would point out, like, you did pack your cargo wall, you know, why did you make that harder than it needed to be? So there's 1200 for that and 190 on the XP, we're up to 30 grand. And 160 XP. Get us to level seven. Can we do it? You can do it. Now again, I've never, <laughs> never brought the P16 into Black River. I don't know how this is going to deal with the mud that we're about to face. I really don't. <laughs> Uh, again, if this gets stuck, I, well, I'll just have to pay for a recovery, won't I? Because I've not got anything that's going to get this out of here if this gets stuck on the head. We may try and go over the hills with it. There's enough space. Trying to work out the time of day. I think we've got about 10, 12 minutes left. We should be able to do this. Why do we don't get stuck? We should be able to do this. Not 
not being able to see a great deal doesn't help either, but we'll uh, we'll wing it. We'll go up this way. Can't lie, that start didn't fill me with confidence. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to empty the fuel out before we delivered that last truck. This is a little bit annoying. Should have enough. behaviours like that while I get flat tyres. My truck is out over there. Mindful that we've not got a snorkel on or anything, and it's going to get deep. So usually I come in here backwards. And we're going to have to turn around. I'm just not sure how how well this because I've never used the truck. This is all new. How well this is uh, going to handle in reverse. It's harder to see those trees, but I think the P16's got enough weight on it to just hopefully demolish them. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was what I was worried about in coming in reverse, not being able to see anything. My concern was somewhat valid. Reverse lights aren't great. joking. It's 
stuck on another log under there, aren't we? I come backwards. So I cannot see what I'm stuck on. Lift me up a little so I can get over it. Whoa. Seriously, we can't pull the truck. Stuck on something, all oh, this. So many bloody logs. Just getting stuck on every friggin' tree or rock for the minute. There you go, that big bump means we're over it. Then we don't want to pull ourselves right back into another one. You get your engine back on, mate. Oh, come on. Seriously. I'm not worried about you breaking. Let's get out of here, come on. I think the 12 minutes are up. And there's something too far away. Let's grab him. I can pull him through, but I cannot drive myself forwards. Come on, let's keep it moving this time. You dare get snagged. We've got like two minutes, mate. Come on. Something like that. Probably not. We're probably over. Let it loose. All the power. It's time. Seven o'clock. Got an hour. Got it. Four minutes. <laughs>
Oh, before you can get through. speed and we should just be able to power through this one. I'm not going to go over the hill with it. Go on, P16. Do me proud. At least I wouldn't be in this much trouble. <laughs> wouldn't have sunk itself because of its weight, that's for certain. I would say perhaps... Oh, there it is. Look, it's parked up there. Uh, I would say... Um, we need to get some longer winches. But very expensive. Like, proper expensive. More expensive than an engine. But I guess... They come in a little bit more... As long as you've got an engine in it, your truck will go. The winch will uh, multi-tool for you. Yeah, when you rescue these trucks, it doesn't matter how bad they get, and you can steal the fuel. It's part of the part of the payment. a little, but we'll take it. And another three grand at 320, so that should I'll do that every time. Bring us up to level 7, so we should have some tire unlocks, I think, at level 7. Let's put them back up out of there. And that, no doubt, is it for today so i'll pause it there don't want to run out of uh, new day next time out i think i'm going to jump in the landy uh, because we're, i think we've probably eaten up some of today and the quickest way to traverse and get about will be in the land rover we'll shoot through here we'll shoot through uh, the dam we'll go down into lake island island lake sorry we're we'll down into island lakes we'll scout that out and then once we've hit the towers um do what we need to do there get up get the i think there's two Upgrades, maybe three, three upgrades, get the three upgrades from there, and then pull one of the fuel trailers back into the dam. Then after we've rescued our own Kodiak from here, we'll go through and we'll get the International and we'll get the um, Y Western. That's probably like three episodes worth of things we're going to do, but that's, that's, that's the new plan going forward. We'll try and do that. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.